Hello, this is your girl Fasology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do UV maps. These are going to be pretty simple for some, but I did say that I was going to get into doing harder videos for you guys. So hopefully you watch other videos of mine, and then when you're comfortable, you'll be able to do this. I want to also thank my subscribers. I just got to 100. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. Make sure you guys like, thumbs up, and just kind of interact with me in the comment section if you have any questions or, you know, any ideas. All right, so we are on VU, so have your VU opened up and have your GIMP opened up. Let me show you guys what we're going to be working with today. These are shorts. Very cute, very simple. I like that they have the wrinkles and everything. Like This is just perfect. This is a RLL size. So for those who like the slim thick look, this is the size for you. Now we will be working with the textures, but not as much. We're going to be focused on the opacity map instead. Because we are going to customize these shorts to make it look much better than they are. Because these are plain. All right, so let's go and see who I derived from. So I derived from OE. And these are what it looks like. I'm glad that they gave us the UV maps to work with and the textures. So this is the front. This is the back of the shorts. You are going to save all four of these. You're going to right click on all of them. You're going to save all of them. And I'm glad that they left us a note here. So you want to have it as 256 times 512 for better quality. So I'm glad they noted that in there. Um, the product ID number is below. You click on derive from product, it's much easier. But if you don't want to, you can just copy and paste the product ID. All right, let's get started. So I know I said I'm not going to really mess with the texture of these, but I will recolor them. Just simple, very simple recolor. So I'm going to go do color, colorize. I think I'm going to do with a lime, a lime green. There. Play with that. And I'm going to filters, repeat, colorize. And I'm going to make sure I save these. export and I'm going to do the same here overwrite export okay so those are all set I don't really need to add any designs to them if but if you choose to add designs to them feel free I'm not going to I'm just going to leave it as is okay so we're going to be working with these maps so you guys need to follow the directions please follow the directions okay so you're going to right click on this map and you're going to do new layer. Now, usually when I do new layer here, sometimes it's transparent. You can change the, the fill color by clicking on fill with. You can do the foreign color, the background color, or white. We're going to go with white and you click OK. And you're going to do the same for this other map. You're going to do right click new layer it's already at white so you don't need to change that there now what we're going to do is we're going to move this map up so all you're doing is dragging it up over the layer just drag it up you're going to do the same drag it up there simple now what we're going to do is we're going to play with the opacity we need it to be gray so Playing with the opacity, as you can see, it's getting gray. It's getting gray. I usually go to 30.3. So that's what I'm going to do. The opacity is at 30.3. Make sure this is highlighted. Do the same for the other map. 30.3. There. Now, we're going to click on the layer part, and we're going to duplicate that. And you do the same for this. 
layer duplicate. So you'll right click duplicate. All right, so you leave that there. That's perfect. This is highlighted. As you can see, it's darker. The layer copy is highlighted. It's highlighted here as well. So that's good. This is a good start. Now we're going to be working with black. We're going to work with black. So what I'm going to do, this is the back part. So I'm not going to do anything yet for the back, but I will be switching to the front. Front of the jeans. Shorts, actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, instead of me using the paintbrush to darken certain parts of this map, I'm not going to do that. I am going to use the shapes that I've downloaded. Just It's just easier that way. So what I'm going to do is file open as layer. And as you can see, I have some shapes that are dark. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use that here. And you're probably wondering why does it look like that? That's fine. We're going to, we're going to fix this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize the layer, layer scale. And I'm going to resize it to, let's say 80. Okay, so there we go. We have this. So you're probably wondering, why does it look like that? That's okay. It's supposed to look like this. Now, if you want to see it in white, black and white, you just click on the short maps right here and just click the eye because this is what your map is going to be looking like. And I want to click on this and move. just move this around. Now, I can't see the map anymore, which is fine. If I want to see the map to see where I'm locating these circles, I can do that. See? So now I can see the map. But I want to move this around some. So I'm moving it around some. But this is what it looks like, as you can see. Now, I want to put this somewhere, just anywhere. These are just examples I'm giving you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. And these are just examples I'm showing y'all. So this is what it looks like. So doing this will create holes within the shorts. And that's what I'm doing here. So you're probably like, okay, this doesn't make any sense. Well, some shorts have ripped parts in it. Some shorts have like holes in it strategically put. I'm not strategically putting it anywhere yet, but I will once I figure out where I'm putting these at. So what I'm going to do is lower that. I don't want too much of a hole. one and I think I'm gonna go like that you're gonna see exactly what I'm doing now usually I do this for AP products access pass products you have to have AP in order to do this but this isn't going to be AP this is going to be a GA product so that means everyone has access to buy it not just people that are AP and the reason why I like to do my products like that is because the, the more people that have access to buy it, that means the more credits that come in if they find my product worth buying. So I'm going to unclick that and I'm going to save this. Now y'all probably wondering, this doesn't even look right. This doesn't make any sense. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about for it to make sense for you guys. Let's go into VU to check this out. Okay, we're back in VU. So this is what the shorts look like. I am going to change the texture. It's the front of the shorts. And then the back of the shorts. So this is what it looks like. Now, the front of the shorts, the opacity map that I just made, will go here. All 
Now let's see exactly what it did. So you can cut out different shapes or just different textures in this map to make it look like a different type of shorts. Now, if I was going for an AP look, I would have made the holes much bigger, more skin showing, and that would have been good for AP. But these are just GA shorts. These are still GA shorts. So this is what it looks like. These are just a, an example of what I'm doing here. And I can do the same for the other side. If I was to put this side, duplicate this, and put it on this side. So let's actually do that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we're back in GIMP. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to layer this down merge down and I'm going to duplicate this layer duplicate layer let's see how I duplicated that layer I'm just gonna move that over here and I am going to click on flip there and now I'm going to move this over And hopefully it mirrors this perfectly. Because mirroring it perfectly can be hard sometimes. Okay. Yeah, that's hard to mirror. So I think I need to move that in some. Let me see what that looks like. It's not bad. So now I'm going to overwrite. And let's go into VU to see what that looks like. Okay, we're back in VU. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit. And we're going to see what this looks like. Apply changes. See, this is what it looks like. Not bad, huh? It turned into a completely different type of shorts. Now, let's see what it looks like. If I did some more. Let's go back into GIMP. Okay, we're back into GIMP. So now I'm going to file, open as layer. I'm going to scale this to, let's see, 80. See what this looks like. Okay. Move this over here. It's a lot of moving everything around and just readjusting everything. Okay. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to overwrite the map again, and we're going to go into VU. Okay, we're back into VU, so let's edit this map again. I'm going to save. So these are just examples that I'm showing you guys. I'm going to show you some stuff that I made in my shop that I just updated so you can understand exactly what I'm doing. So let's go, take a look. Welcome back to my shop, you guys. The last time you saw my shop, it wasn't this much stuff in it. 
I had to add more stuff to my shop because on VU you have to continue creating or you will lose your place. And I don't want to lose my place. I want to continue the creating process. Okay, so I made this dress, which is really gorgeous, actually. It's one of my favorite things. And I did this from cutouts. So exactly what you've seen me do on the shorts is exactly how I made the dress. I did the exact same thing. And it's gorgeous. I actually like this dress. Now, let me scroll down. This is another dress of mine that I'm trying on. One of my favorites. It is really, really nice. And I love this dress a lot. And I'm going to be doing more dresses like these, asymmetricals, different cutouts, different designs. But I want to just start off with the shorts for you guys because you want to start off small. You don't want to go big in the beginning of this. So this is what I did. This is what the dress looks like. It's RLL. I'm going to be working with more RLL stuff. And then I'm also going to be doing some BBW stuff because I noticed in the shop that they don't have a lot of nice symmetrical dresses like this they don't have a lot of these type of dresses at all for bbw and i think that's a good market for me to try but this is what it looks like these are new i just recently made these so definitely hope you guys subscribe and support my shop as well i have this swimsuit that goes with the slides I did some camo fits, this 80s throwback jacket, which is one of my favorites. But yeah, this is what I made so far. Um, and I'm hoping you guys like it. But this is what you're going to eventually be able to do with all the things that you have learned. I'm going, the next video is going to be an in-depth video on these cutout dresses. It's going to be a lot of when I mean in depth, I mean it's going to be a longer video because it's so much to do, so much editing, so much going back and forth, looking to see if I put anything where it needs to be. That's going to be the process for you guys as well when you're doing it. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to be quick. It took me about 30 minutes to make this dress. 30 minutes out of my time. Some dresses take an hour. It just depends because you have to also save the textures as well you can't just do the maps and just get rid of the textures. you have to save everything and that's a lot of saving so i'm gonna get into an in-depth video with you guys on that but make sure you guys like and subscribe click that notification button so you know exactly when i'm uploading new content i really appreciate that you guys have been supporting me so much so i'm going to be cranking these videos out even more so thank you guys and have a good day